Tonight, I'm going to show you how you can use an online platform to help keep your students engaged online. So those of you that are doing some online tutoring, you may be interested in looking into this online platform called wordwall.net. So I'm going to show you how you can use your handy dandy training companion lesson page, how you can use all that information that's on your lesson page to come up with some activities using WordWallNet. And I'm just showing you here how I have my lesson plan on the left and I have my, my lesson page on the right. Let's say I wanted to do some activities with vowel consonant E. I'm doing A consonant E here. And so on my plan here, I didn't fill in the top part, but this is the meat of the lesson right here, which is your new instruction where you do your word study activities. You might do some phrase or sentence work. And then of course you wanna play a game because that's very important for that repeated meaningful practice. So here I just jotted some notes that for A consonant E, I'm going to start by using some flip cards and. I'm sure many of you are familiar with flip cards. If you have taken the training, we refer to them a lot. They're awesome. That's a great way to introduce a skill and to practice a skill. But number two and three, I'm going to use some word wall activities to do a word sort between consonant, uh, vowel consonant words, CVC words, and vowel consonant E. And then I'm also going to use another activity called anagram on word wall to arm spell and build words. There's that arm spelling and writing or arm spelling and building activity. And then we're going to go into some sentence work where we're going to do an activity that's similar to cut up sentences. And that is unjumble in WordWall. And then we can also play games. So I'm going to go to WordWallNet. And this is my page with my activities. Erin, is this free or is there a cost to upgrade? Price plans right here. I started off doing it free and I found that I could only create five resources and I wanted more. So I decided to subscribe to the standard plan and that's what I use right now. I'm going to go to create activity here. And these are the different interactives that can create all of those. So I'm going to go to the word sort first. Okay. So here's my group sort. And if I'm looking at my lesson page and I want to do a word sort between CVC and A consonant EC, what I can do is if I go back here, this section here where it goes from mad, made, you've got some words there that you can use to do your group sort. Okay. I'm going to give my activity a title, A consonant E, and I'm going to make groups here. So the first group is going to be our CVC words. So I'm going to say CVC words. And then our other group is going to be vowel or A consonant E. And so those are going to be my groups. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add words from my list here. So I'm going to put mad on this one and I'm just going to type them and made is going to be on this one. I'm going to keep adding items, pan, pain, at, eight, and you can do as many as you want. And then once you are done, you hit done. And then you have your activity here. So here we're going to sort these words between our uh, closed syllable, uh, consonant, vowel, consonant, and our A consonant E. So they'll go through and they can read the words as they put them in their groups. At, here's the A consonant E, pain, mad, eight, and made, and then you can submit your answers and I'll tell them which ones are correct. 
And then you can play it again if you want. The cool thing down here is there's different themes that you can do. This is just your classic theme, but if you want to do a cork board, it'll look different. Also, if you wanted to set a timer, let's say you wanted to count it down, maybe you want to do like a three minute countdown and have the child to be able to sort the words within three minutes. But you've got a lot of different choices down here on how you can customize this activity for your particular student. And if you want to share this activity, here's your share button. I, I believe if you put it on publish, then you can copy that. And then let's try this. So I'm going to put it in the chat and see if anybody can. Okay, so I see the uh, start button. Okay. Should I, you want me to click on that? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. There's, if you go up to the very top of your, your Zoom controls, um, you're able to give them access. So that's what I do with my particular student. You don't usually send it. You just allow control from your screen sharing. Yeah. All right. There's another activity, which is really great for arm tapping, right? So this is called anagram. And you can also give it a label here, a title, A, consonant E. And let's see, we're going to do with clues here. and. I'm going to do a word. So I've got my words here, and I'm going to pick words that I can find a picture to. So I'm going to pick cake, and I'm going to look for pictures. And there's a picture. And I'm going to add that. And the word. So here's one example. So you have a picture here of a cake. And you have all the letters there. And you can have them arm spell it, k, a, k, cake. And you can have them go ahead and what's the very first sound? And they can move that C over there. What do we hear in the middle? We hear A. And then what do we hear? Oh, where do we hear at the end? Is that G? So that was just one word. But you can go ahead, of course, and add different words. You're just adding another phrase or a word. Let's say I'm going to do wave. Right here is where you can pick a picture. And I'm going to search for a wave. And oh, all kinds of, I like that one. There we go. Um, and you can just add a few different words. Let's see. What's another one I want? Maybe a maze. And then once you get your four, I usually do about five words. You've got your activity there. Down here, you can pick the different themes. Let's say you wanted to do like a summertime theme. And you can do a countdown. Mm, let's see, there's only five words. Maybe you're going to see if they can figure it out in three minutes. You can change the case of all uppercase, all lowercase. What do I even have there? I'm just going to do all lowercase. And then. Well, here's your word. A. And then you've got your next one. A. A -z. So back to our lesson page, I showed you word sort. You can arm spell and build words using uh, anagram on WordWall. You can also do your cut up sentences using WordWall on Jumble. So here you have all your sentences that you can use and you can modify these to make them however you want or just use the ones there. And we're gonna go back and we're going to, here it is and jumble. So we're going to give it a title, A consonant E. And I'm just going to type 
my phrases in here. You can make them shorter because some of these are a little long for unjumbling, but you can make them as long or as short as you please. Can we ape wave? We'll do that. All right, I'm just gonna do three. All right. And I think this is using the same, oh, it's a different thing. So this theme is whiteboard. So there's different themes you can choose from. And so you have your unjumbled or your scrambled sentence, ape, wave, the, can. And so they'll just click and move them to where they need to be. Can, ape, wave, the, can, the, wave. Um, you can show the answers too, which is great. You could have the child read those sentences again if it went too fast and they weren't able to read the whole sentence before they got it together. Yeah, so you can change the template. So if you wanted to do, oh, this is interesting, a random wheel. We got phrases on a random wheel. So you can spin the wheel. And then they have to read the phrase, Nate and I hid in the cave. So that might be a nice little thing to do at the end. Let's read these phrases again. When they read it correctly, you can eliminate them. And then you can spin it again. And then they just read the sentences. And then can the ape wave and eliminate and so on. Matching pairs. You're just going to put in uh, pairs of identical items. You only have to put it in once. If you wanted to find cane, it'll bring up two cards. If you want to wave, let's do cake. We'll do... So here's your game. You got your three pairs. Of course, you'd probably have a few more cards, but and then you just turn them over to find your match. There's no match. Ah, there's a match and they have to read the words. So that's a really easy one to play and it's great for online. There's so many other things that you can explore on this, on WordWallNet. I, I use it a lot with the, my online kids. I only have a few online kids, but I do use a lot of those activities. So again, it's wordwall.net.